what up everybody ETA on the EUC it's currently uh, August 25th it is 542 I'm gonna start working at 6 p.m. and then I'm gonna stop probably at 2 a.m. The reason why is because I haven't been putting in a lot of hours this week and I just wanna do eight hours today. Even though it is Thursday, basically the slowest day out of the week I found here in Manhattan is Thursday. Uh, so I don't expect it to be busy. Originally I was gonna work in the morning, but I canceled that out, decided to come at 6 to 2 a.m. because if you look at the busyness level of Uber, you can see it doesn't pick up until like 6 and then even into the morning, even until like 3 a.m. it's busy supposedly at this time for Thursday so by the way this is your first time checking out the channel a welcome uh, on this channel basically I do food delivery for Uber Eats Grubhub DoorDash mm -hmm. on electric unicycles in Manhattan a welcome to the journey and I hope you enjoy all right guys let's do it usually when I start off in the p.m. I always start off in Midtown because that's where I live and then I, I work my way down to like East Village that's basically where I prefer to work in the evening so I'm gonna head my way down there I doubt I'm gonna get anything on the way Probably gonna be 15, maybe 20 minutes. Let's see what this is. Nope, not taking that. Cool, so got an order for 11 minutes, 0 0.6 miles, 650. I'm gonna go ahead and take it. It's been basically like 30 minutes since I got an order worth taking. So there is no wait on that and it's about four minutes up north to the drop off your destination is on the right <sighs> so you know a city's old when you don't have any like ramps or anything for like wheelchairs or bikes or anything like that this is like, i think this is like the third oldest city in america is manhattan all they got here is like steps for some of these a lot of buildings all they have is steps so, yeah. thank you stairs because it's only the second floor so and just a quick reference I'm really getting kind of tired of talking about it but it's just facts I think here in Manhattan like every market is different everyone has their opinions it's just my opinion but I think DoorDash is really doing their top dasher thing where if your, your acceptance rating and stuff is not high, you're just basically not gonna get any orders. It's been Uber Eats, like 90% of the orders for months. So I've basically been working off like one app. Like every now and then I'll get a Grubhub if I can get a schedule. But DoorDash, if they have a bigger market share than Uber Eats, you should be getting as much or more orders from DoorDash. So that's why I'm, conv I'm, I'm convinced, you know, that it's uh, this top dasher bullshit. I don't know, honestly, I'm kind of waiting until September to see what happens with the market. Because if after September or after October and DoorDash is still not giving me orders, then it's 100%, 100% top dasher and I might have to change my strategy. But I'm just waiting to see until fall comes, see if uh, the weather changes stuff. It's not that far away. All right, so we got a double for 12.76, 2.5 miles. I'm gonna go ahead and take it. It's been basically an hour. It's my second uh, delivery. Hello. Okay. Yeah, for Zhao. Zhou? Thank you. Cool. Thank you. Thank you. Order was ready. Didn't have to wait. Picked it up. I really didn't want to say that name out loud. He's like, what's the name? I'm like, uh, Zhao? <laughs> anyway, next pickup about a block away. Hello. Uh, pick up for Owen. Awesome, man. Thank you. All right. First drop off is 12 minutes down south. Hi. 
What's the name? Shop. Yep. All right. Uh, thanks. It's an electric unicycle. Uh, this one was pretty expensive, but this one was like 3800 but you can get them a lot cheaper than that. No problem. Have a good night. So I know I got her name wrong. I think it was Chow. I said Zhao. I was close. Next drop off, three minutes. Going back up north. Hello. Food delivery. Cool, thanks. Hold on one second. Last September, I started recording my stats. Uh, so it's almost been a full year. By the end of uh, next month, I'll have, I'll have like a full year of stats. That guy, he just, what do, why do they do that? Just keep walking. So yeah, at the end of September or maybe in October, I'll tell you guys what I made per season. Show you guys how much like it dropped during the summer and how much I was making in the, the winter. And then I'll just tell you guys my average overall for the entire year. But like I said, I'm going to have to wait till the end of this September to get a full year's of stats. But I do plan on doing that. I think obviously people are interested. Finally got an order with uh, Grubhub, which is kind of odd because I'm not scheduled with them. But it's 0 0.9 miles, 15 minutes for 7.13. I'm going to take it. Place is not far away, right across the street. Uh, looks like a... Yeah, I didn't have to wait there too long, maybe a few minutes. It was a, it looked like a sushi place. Like they make sushi and stuff there, so. Let me see what this says. It says, uh, blah, blah, blah. Please deliver to the lobby company named School of Visual Arts. Okay, cool. So I'm gonna give my ETA since it's gonna be at the lobby. ETA, six minutes. Hey, food delivery? Yeah, uh, beer and Miranda. Yep, all right. Great. All right, here you go. Thank you so much. No problem, have a good night. Okay. Sometimes they just look at you when you show up like, is he a delivery driver? What is he? I don't know, so in that case, I like to wave her down. I'm like, yeah, I am a delivery driver, look at me. I don't know what I'm talking about right now. <laughs> anyway. I think I got one for like 20 something dollars, $28 for like 38 minutes. Definitely gonna do that, doing it right now. Hey, I got a pick up for Erica, okay? Not ready yet? All right. Probably waited like five, seven minutes for that. So this is a double. I don't, I didn't really look to see what stores it was. I know it's going all the way up to like, I think it's like 42nd or 48th Street or something like that. Hardy and Healthy is the next pickup off 7th Street. This is a pickup location merchant that has like multiple names for the same location, basically. I don't know how they set that up. They must have like multiple accounts on like Uber, like under different names. Yep, that's it. Cool, thank you. All right, so that probably took another five to seven minutes. We got one going to East 28th, and then the other one going to East 48th. Turn left onto Lexington Avenue, then your destination will be on the left. They said it's a hotel. I don't see a hotel here, like what the hell? Gave me the wrong address. Thank God it's not that far away. In 1,000 feet, your destination will be on the left. Someone will go downstairs. So they're saying they're gonna meet me down here. They gave me the wrong address, and then I came down. I guess they're gonna meet me down here. So I'll give that person a break because she was French, and uh, it was showing me in the comments here that it was translated in Google for her. <laughs> and then I went to call them, and it was like a French voicemail. She gave me the address. It's a hotel. It was supposed to be uh, 23 Lexington. She put 123. But it wasn't that far, it was like a minute down the road, so I'll give her a break. But anyway, on to the next drop off. Where are you? Oh, it was right in front of my face, all right. Hey, how's it going? Uh, I got a drop off for food delivery. All right, no problem.
Thanks, have a good night. Hi guys, I think I'm gonna end it here. It's like, uh, I think it was like 11.34. Not gonna go till 2 a.m., it's just too slow and I just don't wanna deal with any more bullshit right now. Anyway, if you guys like what you saw, hit that subscribe button. Uh, more content like this to come. All right, till next time.